So one of the biggest misconceptions about technology is um, that it allows us to reach more people. So in theory it allows us to reach more people, but um, at the same time everybody's able to reach more people. So that means that um, it gets harder and harder to really reach people because uh, you will have uh, every day you might have 5,000 people trying to reach you with uh, all sorts of ads, all sorts of content. So the truth about technology is that um, it does not really allow you to reach more people um, because the thing is when you try and believe that it allows you to reach more people you will try to um, reach as many people as possible with your message but what's going to happen uh, when you try or craft a message that uh, pretty much pleases everybody is that it ends up pleasing uh, nobody so the real truth or the real secret to leverage technology or social media is to um, to target a very very narrow let's say market or a very narrow group so try to uh, maybe just focus on growth of a single person per every day try to make this one person um, a true fan of yours and the only way to make this person a, a true fan is to focus on the single need of this one person. Um, so for example, if someone sends you a message on Twitter, reply to it. Um, that's what Gary Vaynerchuk does. That's what makes uh, makes him so big because with every interaction, with everything he does, um, he instantly converts sort of fans in true fans. And those fans will then tell their friends about them or about what he does. and that's the real that's the real power or the real strength how to how to use social media how to use um, technology by focusing on growth of a single person every day and those people will then tell their friends about you and if you have 365 true fans that tell their friends about you um, that's the real power and way to leverage social media it's not about focusing and thinking about technology as being the leverage because if you think so, um, you'll be doing what everybody else is, is doing and then you'll be competing with everybody else. So at the end of the day, it's really about focusing uh, to add value to one single person every day and to turn them into true fans. And once you've done that, once you've done the really, really hard work, um, you might be able to reach a critical mass of people so that your message spreads. And that's the same thing that the founders of Airbnb did. Before their service was successful, um, they pretty much flew around the United States and visited every, each and every single apartment um, because they had to gain um, people's trust first and they had to figure out, um, so how can we turn them into true fans? And that's what they did for, I don't know, a year or so, or maybe more. And then once they did that, they were a, they they reached critical mass and were able to to leverage technology. But before you reach critical mass, technology is pretty much useless. All right, that's it for today. It's super freezing and my hands are getting cold. So uh, uh, that's it for today. See you next time.